Good morning, third graders. This is going to be our schedule for the next two days because our face-to-face -face learners will be taking the BOG. Um, the rest of you that are virtual, you have already taken the BOG. So the kids that come Monday and Wednesday will be taking it today. The kids that come Tuesday and Thursday will be taking it on Tuesday. So you should have logged in and done attendance. Um, we'll be doing the morning meeting in just a second. I'm gonna record it for you then math, then reading, then your reading centers, math centers, recess, and if you don't feel like going outside to do anything, obviously just take a break during that time. You'll have lunch, then writing, then science. Encore will be at the end of the day, and that will be it. However, if you are not finished with any of your items by 2.05, you will have to finish after Encore. Okay, now these um, times are loose meaning that if you need a little bit time for math, then do it. If you need a little bit more time for reading, then do it, okay? Because some of you go at a little bit faster of a pace than others, and that's okay. All right, moving into our motivational message from administration. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the link. And here, I'm gonna press the play button. Good morning, Dragons, and happy Monday. Very excited to be here with you today. This is Miss Baker, and today we're going to talk a little bit about gratitude. So I know every single one of you has fallen in love with a pair of shoes. Today we are going to listen to a story of a boy named Jeremy who fell in love with a pair of shoes. Oh, 
to get my heel in. I don't know, but I think they fit. Grandma kneels on the floor and feels for my toes at the end of the shoe. Oh, Jeremy, she says. I can't spend good money on shoes that don't fit. I pull the other shoe on and try to walk around. They're okay, I say, holding my breath and praying that my toes will fall off right then and there. But my toes don't fall off. I buy them anyway with my own money, and I squeeze them on and limp to the bus stop. At home a few days later, Grandma puts a new pair of snow boots in my closet and doesn't say a word about my two big feet shuffling around in my two small shoes. Sometimes shoes stretch, I say. Grandma gives me a hug. I check every day, but those shoes don't stretch. I have to wear my Mr. Alfreys to school instead. One day during math, I glance at Antonio's shoes. One of them is taped up, and his feet look smaller than mine. After school, I head to the park to think. Antonio is there, the only kid who didn't laugh at my Mr. Alfred shoes. We shoot baskets. A loose piece of tape on Antonio's shoe smacks the concrete every time he jumps. I think, I'm not going to do it. We leap off the swings. I'm not going to do it. We race from one end of the playground to the other. I'm not going to do it, I say. Do what? Antonio says, breathing hard. Grandma calls me for supper and invites Antonio over too. After supper, he spies my shoes. How come you don't wear them? Antonio asks. I shrug. My hands are sweaty. I can feel him wishing those shoes were his. That night, I am awake for a long time thinking about Antonio. When morning comes, I try on my shoes one last time. Before I can change my mind, the shoes are in my coat. The snow is beginning to fall as I run across the street to Antonio's apartment. I put the shoes in front of his door, push the doorbell, and run. At school, Antonio is smiling big in his brand new shoes. I feel happy when I look at his face, and mad when I look at my Mr. Alfie shoes. But later, when it's time for recess, something happens. Everywhere, there is snow. Leave your shoes in the hall and change into your boots, the teacher announces. Leave your shoes in the hall. It's then I remember what I have in my backpack. New boots. New black boots that no kid has ever worn before. Standing in line to go to recess, Antonio leans forward and says, Thanks. I smile and give him a nudge. Let's race. Whenever you are unhappy, the path to happiness starts with gratitude. The more you focus on what you don't have, the more unhappy and ungrateful you are. Happiness comes from the inside. It starts by focusing on what you do have. And gratitude is the key to happiness. In the story shared today, Jeremy is focused on what he doesn't have. And it makes him more unhappy. But when he focuses on what he does have, a good friend, he discovers happiness. Gratitude focuses our heart on what we do have. This month, our entire nation remembers all that we have, and it is a lot. No other country in the world has a day set aside to give thanks. Thanksgiving is coming up, and it is the perfect time for you to display and show gratitude. You may want to think about everything that makes you happy. A good way to do that is to make a list. Whenever you are sad, go and read the list and see if you can add to it. Taking the time for gratitude is so important for our peace of mind and our happiness. It is a great way to remind yourself how lucky we are and who we have in our life supporting us along the way. So on this Monday, let us be grateful, not for just the material things given to us, but for the small ways that we have get to give to others. Have a great Monday, dragons, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care. All right, so that was the Motivational Monday. I am going to save the SEL lesson for tomorrow. So again, you will click on a link just like you have today for the morning message, 
and we will do the SEL lesson tomorrow. We did the motivational message from administration today. And then on Class Dojo, I would like you to get on this morning, and I would like you to share one thing with me that you did over the weekend, okay? Some of you like to share a lot, which is okay, but I would just like you to share one thing. Okay, so go ahead and go into Class Dojo, like I've shown you through Clever, and record yourself telling me one thing that you did over the weekend. All right, boys and girls, that is your morning meeting for this morning.